Welcome to lecture one in the accounting lecture series. In this lecture, we will open a lemonade stand and keep track of transactions using the balance sheet. This lecture is based on the book, The Accounting Game, written by Daryl Mulis and Judith Orloff. If you struggle with the lecture contents, I strongly recommend you purchase this book. Okay, let's now start with week one of our lemonade business. You empty your piggy bank and you have $5. What do we call our $5 in accounting terms? Cash. Who owns the $5? You do. We need to make sure we start keeping records of our business financials. So we'll create a record keeping table. Where does our $5 go? It goes on the left side as $5 in cash. Should it be added anywhere else? Yes. It also goes on the right side, since you own the $5. We'll call that original investment. So this is what our record keeping table should look like. Do you notice anything about the two sides? They are equal. The left side must always equal the right side. Luckily, you have wonderful friends to help you out whenever you need them. Your best friend makes a sign for your lemonade stand. You realize that $5 probably will not be enough to start your lemonade business. So you go to the bank of mom and dad. You convince them to loan you $10 for your business. Before you try to run off with the $10, mom makes you sign a piece of paper that says, I owe you at the top. What will happen to our record keeping table? You can pause the lecture if you would like to try to answer this yourself first. The $10 is yours to use, so we can add it under cash. But you don't own it. You owe it to mom. Therefore, we need to create a new category on the right side of the scorecard. What should we call it? This is what our record keeping table should look like now. We have a total of $15 in cash. Of that $15, $5 belongs to us and $10 is a loan from mom. So we'll call that notes payable. What is the name in the business world for what we have? Assets. What is the name in the business world for the money that the business owes to people? Liabilities. What do people call the part of the business owned by the owners? Owner's equity. What do we call this statement? The balance sheet. As we saw in the previous slide, this accounting statement is called the balance sheet. A balance sheet is only accurate if the left side of the balance sheet is equal to the right side. What do you think some people call the part of the business owned by the owners? You can pause the lecture to think about what the answer should be. The correct answer is F. People can call the part of the business owned by the owners equity, owner's equity, stockholder's equity, or net worth. Net worth is the same as assets minus liabilities, or the net assets of the company which belong to the company's owners. This brings us to the accounting equation, which states that assets on the left of the balance sheet equal liabilities plus owner's equity which are on the right side of the balance sheet. When we look at the balance sheet, we see an image of the business's financial position, what the company has and where it came from. You go to the grocery store and buy the following supplies for which you pay in cash, 50 lemons at 20 cents per lemon and five pounds of sugar at 40 cents per pound. What has changed on our balance sheet? If you would like to think about this yourself before listening to the answer, you can pause the video recording. We spent $10 on lemons and $2 on sugar, and we paid in cash. So our cash is down from $15 to $3. Please note that we are now out of balance with only $3 on the left side of our balance sheet and $15 on the right side. The $12 in value didn't just disappear. So how can we rebalance our balance sheet? 
we need to add a new category under assets. Do you know what we should call it? Inventory. We now have $12 worth of inventory. Here you can see that cash has gone down from $15 to $3, and a new category, inventory, has been created, which is valued at $12. Total assets remains at $15. Total liabilities and owner's equity also remains at $15. You have to get to work now. You make lemonade from your raw materials. You have enough to make lemonade for 60 glasses, using all your inventory. What is our cost of production? $12. What is the per unit cost of production? $12 divided by 60 glasses is 20 cents per glass. You think a price of 50 cents per glass will be low enough to create demand while still allowing you to cover your costs and make a profit. On your first day, you sold 50 glasses of lemonade. What a success. What were your sales? You sold 50 glasses at 50 cents per glass, which gave you $25 in cash. 10 glasses were unsold. Based on the previous information, can you tell me what your sales and cost of goods sold was? When we know those numbers, we can calculate our gross profit. You can pause the slide and try to write down your answer. Sales was $25 because we sold 50 glasses of lemonade at 50 cents per glass. Do you remember what our cost of production per glass was? We produced 60 glasses of lemonade with lemons and sugar that cost us $12. So our cost of production per glass was 20 cents. How many glasses did we sell? We sold 50 glasses. The cost to produce those 50 glasses was 50 glasses times 20 cents per glass, which is $10. We also call that the cost of goods sold, or COX. We can now calculate our gross profit, $25 in sales minus $10 in COX, which gives us $15 in gross profit. What has changed in our balance sheet? Please pause the video and try to adjust the balance sheet using the new information. Did anything change to our cash? Yes, we added $25 in cash from our sales, so cash is now $28. Did anything change to our inventory? Yes, our inventory reduced from $12 to $2 because the 50 glasses of lemonade we sold were made using inventory valued at $10. What happens to the value of total assets? It is now $30, based on $28 in cash plus $2 in inventory. We are not in balance. What do we have to fix on the right side? Have we earned anything? Yes, we made a profit on our sales. The profit was $25 minus $10, or $15 in total. Let's create a new category to reflect our earnings week to date. This is what our new balance sheet looks like. We are in balance with $30 both on the assets column and the liabilities and owner's equity column. We have created a new category to reflect our earnings week to date at $15.